China has always been known for its ambitious infrastructure projects, but its latest endeavor takes the concept to a whole new level. The Chinese government has embarked on a massive undertaking to flatten 700 mountains in order to create more land for development. This audacious project has garnered attention and raised eyebrows worldwide, with many questioning the feasibility and environmental impact of such an enormous endeavor. The initiative, known as the Mountain Flattening Project, aims to create more space for urban expansion, industrial development, and agriculture. The mountains selected for flattening are primarily located in the central and eastern parts of the country, where population density and economic growth are particularly high. By removing the obstacles presented by these natural formations, China hopes to boost economic productivity and accommodate its growing population. The scale of the project is truly mind-boggling. The mountains slated for flattening vary in size and height, ranging from small hills to significant mountain ranges. The process involves various techniques, including controlled explosions, excavation, and the removal of excess soil and rock. It requires an army of engineers, geologists, and construction workers working around the clock to accomplish this mammoth task. One of the main reasons behind China's push for mountain flattening is the need for additional land for its rapidly expanding urban areas. With a population of over 1.4 billion people, China's cities are bursting at the seams, struggling to accommodate the growing influx of rural migrants seeking better job opportunities. Flattening mountains offers a way to reclaim land and create more space for housing, offices, and infrastructure. Moreover, China's industrial growth and quest for resources necessitate vast tracts of flat land for factories, power plants, and mining operations. The country's manufacturing sector is the largest in the world, and it requires enormous space to sustain its growth. By removing mountains, China can consolidate industrial zones and streamline its supply chains, leading to increased efficiency and economic competitiveness. The agricultural sector is another area that stands to benefit from this project. China is the world's most populous country, and feeding its population is an ongoing challenge. Flattening mountains can open up new areas for cultivation, providing additional farmland to boost agricultural output. This, in turn, can enhance food security and reduce dependence on imports, contributing to China's self-sufficiency goals. While the Chinese government envisions numerous benefits from the mountain flattening project, critics argue that the environmental costs may outweigh the potential gains. Mountains are not only awe-inspiring natural features, but also crucial ecosystems that support a diverse range of flora and fauna. Flattening these mountains disrupts these ecosystems, leading to the loss of habitats and biodiversity. In addition to the ecological impact, the project also raises concerns about soil erosion and water management. Mountains act as natural barriers, preventing soil erosion and regulating water flow. Removing them could result in increased sedimentation in rivers, leading to flooding and water pollution. Moreover, the altered topography may disrupt natural drainage patterns, affecting groundwater recharge and exacerbating water scarcity issues. Furthermore, the process of flattening mountains itself can have severe environmental consequences. Controlled explosions and excavation release large amounts of dust, pollutants, and greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. The transportation and disposal of excess soil and rock generate significant carbon emissions contributing to climate change. These factors raise important questions about the sustainability and long-term viability of such a massive undertaking. China has taken some measures to address these concerns and mitigate the environmental impact of the project. The government has implemented strict regulations on dust and pollution control during construction activities. It has also invested in reforestation efforts and the restoration of damaged ecosystems. However, critics argue that these measures may not be sufficient to offset the damage caused by the mountain flattening. Beyond the environmental considerations, the project also raises socioeconomic issues. The displacement of communities residing in the affected areas is one of the most significant challenges. Many people living near the mountains rely on them for their livelihoods, engaging in activities such as farming, herding, and tourism. Flattening these mountains could disrupt their way of life and displace them from their homes, raising questions of social justice and equity. Moreover, the project's cost is astronomical.
The financial resources required for such an endeavor are staggering, and there are concerns about the potential impact on the Chinese economy. Critics argue that the funds allocated to the mountain flattening project could be better utilized in addressing pressing social issues such as poverty alleviation, education, and health care. China's mega-project to flatten 700 mountains is undoubtedly an audacious undertaking that captures the world's attention. While the government emphasizes the potential economic benefits and increased land availability, the project's environmental and socioeconomic costs cannot be ignored. It highlights the delicate balance between development and environmental preservation and raises important questions about the sustainability and long-term consequences of such grandiose projects. As the project moves forward, it is crucial for the Chinese government to prioritize environmental protection, mitigate the impact on local communities, and ensure the long-term sustainability of the regions affected by mountain flattening. As the project progresses, it is essential for the Chinese government to engage in rigorous monitoring and evaluation processes. Continuous assessment of the environmental impact is crucial to identify any adverse effects and implement appropriate measures to mitigate them. This includes monitoring air and water quality, assessing soil erosion rates, and monitoring the health and well-being of local ecosystems. To address the concerns regarding habitat loss and biodiversity, efforts should be made to establish conservation areas and protected zones in the regions surrounding the flattened mountains. These areas can serve as sanctuaries for wildlife and help maintain ecological balance. Additionally, reforestation programs should be implemented to restore green cover and promote the growth of native flora and fauna. To mitigate the social impact of the project, it is crucial for the Chinese government to prioritize the welfare of affected communities. Proper compensation and relocation packages should be provided to ensure that residents are not left vulnerable or disadvantaged. The government should also invest in skill development and alternative livelihood opportunities for those who may lose their traditional means of income due to the flattening of mountains. Transparency and public participation are also critical in ensuring the project's success and minimizing negative consequences. The government should engage with local communities, environmental experts, and civil society organizations to gather feedback, address concerns, and incorporate their perspectives into decision-making processes. This collaborative approach can lead to better outcomes and help build trust between the government and the public. Furthermore, it is essential for China to explore alternative approaches to urban and industrial development that are more sustainable and environmentally friendly. Emphasizing vertical expansion and utilizing innovative urban planning strategies can help maximize land use efficiency without resorting to the drastic measure of flattening mountains. Investing in renewable energy sources, adopting cleaner technologies, and promoting circular economy practices can also contribute to a more sustainable development model. Internationally, the Chinese government should also engage with other countries and global organizations to share best practices and learn from similar projects. By studying the experiences of other nations that have undertaken large-scale infrastructure initiatives, China can gain valuable insights and lessons on how to minimize environmental impact and ensure sustainable development. In conclusion, China's mega-project to flatten 700 mountains is undoubtedly a massive undertaking with far-reaching implications. While it holds the potential for increased land availability and economic development, it also raises significant environmental, socio-economic, and ethical concerns. Balancing the need for development with environmental preservation and social well-being is a complex task that requires careful planning, mitigation strategies, and continuous monitoring. By addressing these challenges and incorporating sustainable practices, China can navigate this project with greater sensitivity and minimize its adverse impacts, thus setting an example for responsible and sustainable development.